Now, this morning, how are you responding to the revelation of God? Because we live in America, and sitting here in this church, you have heard the message of the gospel over and over and over. You don't just have your conscience. You don't just have creation speaking to you. But you've got the brightest light of all. You've got the account of God's Son, the words of Paul, the words of Jesus. We, have, beyond any others, are responsible to acknowledge God in our lives. You know, Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes, and not a lot of us read the book of Ecclesiastes, but he makes a point, and this is a really kind of putting it all into a nutshell as far as Ecclesiastes. If you look at the end of chapter 1 and the beginning of chapter 2, you see Solomon says that I sought to be satisfied in much learning, and I found that that was like chasing the wind. Then I went to pleasure. I found that that was nothing, that all that was vain and empty. Then I went to laughter, to much wine, then I started building all that I could, and I found out that that was empty. Then I tried to collect all the wealth that I could. Then I tried to gain all the power that I could. And in chapter 2, verse 11, he says this. He says, Thus I considered all my activities which my hands had done, and the labor which I had exerted. And behold, all was vanity, striving after the wind, and there was no profit under the sun. And you come to the very last part of the book of Ecclesiastes, and Solomon sums it all up. And he says this, that life consists of this. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. It took him a lifetime. He had every opportunity to exhaust every direction. And he got to the end of it all and he said, you know what really matters? Fear God and keep his commandments. I've been to the bedside of a lot of people who are dying. And they all come back to that. They're not worried about the wallpaper in the room they're dying in career, the things that drive us every day, Solomon got to the end of it all and said, one thing matters, where's God in your life? God has made himself evident. He makes himself evident in powerful ways and the most powerful through this book. And God is shouting from the pages of this book, I matter. I deserve a place in your life. I created you. I designed you for relationship with me. Are you experiencing that? There's a very rich man, and let me close with this, a very rich man named Robert Arlington. He made a lot of money back in the 1800s. He gave over a half a million dollars to missions, and that was back when that was really a lot of money. But he wrote this. He said, I would rather make the floor my bed, a box my chair, and another box my table than to see anybody want for the knowledge of Jesus Christ. What he was saying is that God matters most. When we don't acknowledge God, that's reason for the wrath of God.